Here we have the timeline tab slider and we don't have much to update on this one. We've just got the purple text and the purple hover color when you hover on it. And then, you know, it's pretty simple, uh, the rest of the items. So to update these colors, we have to go into the master CSS color changer. You're just going to find the sliders section and then we've got the timeline tab slider. So we want to change this color over here. Well, I'm just gonna change it to a bright green and I'm gonna do the same for this one. It's the hover colors, they sort of indicated over here. Then we're just gonna copy that code. We're gonna stick it into the page level custom CSS. Let's update and save and then we can reload the page. Uh, there we go. So you can see that's all updated the way that we want. Next, let's go and have a quick look and see uh, the images here are 1801 by 760. So you can stick with that size for best results. Then you can see they are all listed out here. So you can click that open, for example, and uh, do uh, Ipsum if you wanted to change the text, whatever that's going to be called and then let's go through there's the image if you want to upload it uh, and then let's just click the save button um, let's see what else we got here i think that's about it so yeah you can just add more slides or change images and uh, it will all work nicely when you add it save it and you're good to go so there we go very nice slider thanks for watching ciao